Yeah, as you'll see in one of my other vids I did not long ago. I'm usually struggling over this bit, this one here. The Everlasting Father. Jesus. This is Jesus, and he will be known as the Everlasting Father. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've sussed it out. Um, uh, so, it's um, correct. We'll, we'll see how we go. See what you think. Alright, so as I said previously, <coughs> um, a child is born. A child, one child, alright. Um, and the government and the government shall be on his shoulders and his name shall be called all right so there's no may be called or sometimes called shall be called all right so wonderful counselor is what i would consider holy spirit um everlasting father and prince of peace is jesus so you got jesus holy spirit everlasting father and all together they are the mighty god so this here is the godhead all right that's that's the godhead that model that's the one that the bible mentions all right um <clears throat> now the trinity all right the trinity is when jesus is in the flesh all right and that's when jesus that's when the father becomes god of jesus all right so um when jesus is in the flesh then he has a god but before that he won't if he's not in the flesh if he's together with the father and that he doesn't have a god right because he is god all right and and that's where you're back to here yeah isaiah 9 6 all right so when he's on earth right it says here all right um and when he brought his supreme son into the world all right so he's in the world god said let all of god's angels worship him all right, and that's Jesus' angels, because Jesus is the creator of all things. All right. Regarding the angels, he said, send his angels like the winds. Uh, but to the Son, he says, your throne, O God. Right. So this is the Father speaking to the Son. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a scepter of justice. So still calling Jesus God, even though he's on earth, or, or you know, he's in the world. You love justice and hate evil. Therefore, O God, your God, so that's Father saying he's God over God, over Jesus, um, has anointed you, pouring out the oil. All right, so you've also got here where Jesus says, It is written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. So it's two, that's separate, separate beings, separate people. All right, so... You'll see a lot of um, a guy I follows. He's he he's really against this sort of thing where they're like two separate gods, All right? Well, they are. Just said there, it's two separate gods. Your God, right? Oh God, where is it? Oh God, your God. Okay, so that's two gods, and they are separate. All right, so. Um, yeah, is it also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true? So two separate men. I am one that bears witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bears witness of me. All right, so these are two separate individuals. So, uh, including the Holy Spirit, there's three. And before I thought maybe Jesus was got over Holy Spirit because Jesus sent Holy Spirit, but no, um doesn't work that way it's still the same it's uh the one still in heaven is the god over the other ones so father has got over the other while they're on earth well holy spirit's not in flesh so no it's probably not <laughs> that's another another one for another day but anyway there that's my point so the the trinity and the godhead are both true so all these two camps that are arguing against each other godhead trinity godhead trinity uh, that's why that's why they're they'll never solve that because it, they're both true all right this here is godhead <coughs> oh i used an lt on this one just so you can see it easier for your kjv is um yeah and this one here is trinity these ones are Trinity, right? And um, they become Trinity when Jesus is in the flesh. When Jesus has a God. Alright? 
here he doesn't. Alright. I'm, I'm glad I figured that one out. <laughs> because, uh, that just, uh, for years I've been struggling with that. That one thing there, that's very annoying. But yeah, anyway, I hope that helps. God bless.